And President Trump wants to know why our drones are not killing more innocent people. Now, the Washington Post reported on Thursday that after watching a recorded video of a drone strike in Syria, in which officials waited until the target was outside of the family's home, Trump had reportedly asked, why did you wait? Why did you, why did you wait before dropping that bomb? Just blow up the house, blow up the family. Why don't you murder innocent people? Because you can't. That's why. Look, the drone program and our airstrikes already kill way, way too many innocent people. Now, I reported on this back during the Obama administration. Under President Obama, the estimated civilian death toll from coalition airstrikes uh, range, uh, ranged from 2,300 to 3,400, according to Air Wars. Now, that was already terrible, uh, a horrible loss of innocent civilian life, and actually uh, that helps fuel terrorism in that area. This is, if your family gets blown up by an American bomb, who do you think you're going to get mad at? Now, is bad enough under Obama? Now it's even worse under Trump. In his first nine months, it's estimated that the civilian death toll under President Trump grew as high as 4,500. That's the first nine months. Obviously, he's been, look, he said, I'm going to take the gloves off the military. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to change the rules of engagement. And he has, and guess what? That has led to even more civilian deaths in places like Yemen and Syria and all the other different places that were doing uh, bombings, drone strikes, etc. Now look, um, one of the things that Trump wants to do is actually arm CIA drones as well. Now that's one thing that President Obama's like, ah, let's not arm CIA drones, let's actually keep them more for surveillance, uh, surveillance and we'll let the military drone people. Well, now Trump's reversing that, and he's going to basically give this over to Mike Pompeo. That is also incredibly disastrous. So you're going to give Mike Pompeo armed drones and let him do whatever the hell he wants. No, this is a recipe for disaster. But of course, none of us should be too surprised. President Trump has been a big advocate of murdering innocent people. In fact, uh, he said that he wanted to uh, uh, basically bomb their families. I'll give you the direct quote here in a minute. Uh, but first, I want to mention that he was quite unimpressed at the CIF, CIA efforts to reduce civilian casualties. So he looks at that and he's like, what, why aren't you bombing more civilians? Why aren't you just blowing up their houses? Why don't you kill their families? In fact, here's the quote. When you get these terrorists, you have to take out their families. They care about their lives. Don't kid yourself. But they say they don't care about their lives. You have to take out their families. You know, we have a word for that. It's called war crimes. Lock him up. Lock him up. Forget about Russia. He's bombing innocent civilians in Yemen. But we don't care about that. We don't care about that at all. No, no, no. All we care about uh, is, hey, man, look, we're taking, out the, we're taking out the terrorists and we're doing signature strikes on, on people that we believe might be terrorists, but that's okay. They're brown people over in Yemen. We don't give a shit about those people because they're all just potential terrorists. We've got to stop the bombing, man. Look, what we're doing, we, we did this under President Obama. Now we're doing it under President Trump. We're doing extrajudicial killings. Look, for example, let me give you uh, in, 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 uh, just a terrible, terrible tragedy that happened uh, earlier in the administration. Donald Trump authorized a raid in Yemen that ended with the death of civilian, uh, innocent civilians, one including an eight-year-old girl. Now, I'm going to give you her name here in a minute because uh, you will probably recognize this. Uh, according to Jeremy Scahill, who spoke, uh, who spoke with the grandparents of that young girl, she was, quote, shot in the neck and killed, bleeding to death over the course of two hours. Why kill children? This is the new U.S. administration. It's very sad. 
a big crime. Now, according to Glenn Greenwald, writing in The Intercept, at least eight women and seven children, ages 3 to 13, had been killed in the raid. That attack also severely damaged the school, the health facility, and a mosque. We did that. And Trump authorized it. Now, look, um, the Obama administration had been planning for that raid. As soon as Trump got in, says, let's just go. Let's, let's pull the trigger on this one. Let's go already. And of course, unfortunately, innocent people ended up losing their lives. Now, again, Donald Trump doesn't give a shit. He doesn't care. It's doing exactly what Trump wanted to do, which is kill the families of suspected terrorists. Well, that eight-year-old girl happened to be the daughter of Anwar al-Laki. You recognize that name? That is a U.S. citizen that was killed extrajudicially by President Obama. The al family has been devastated. Not only that, um, there was another 16-year-old in the al family that was also murdered by drone. <laughs> no due process, just execution. We're going to execute you. It doesn't matter if it's President Obama. It doesn't matter if it's President Trump. The current administration and the past administration, the current mindset of the United States foreign policy is we don't give a damn about who we kill. You're a civilian. We don't give a shit. If you're an eight-year-old girl, you're a 16-year-old teenager, I don't give a damn. We're going to kill you anyway because we can. We have... Got to stop the wars. This is disgusting. We've got to end the wars. We've got to end the drone strikes. We've got to end the murder of, killing, of, of innocent people. We've got to stop bombing Yemen. We've got to st stop giving the Saudi Arabians weapons. We're just giving them weapons that they can uh, turn and use on innocent Yemenis. Thousands of civilians have died. We've got to stop, man. Look, this entire problem did not start under Donald Trump. And I want to be very, very clear. This started under President Obama. Look, uh, Bush first uh, created the drone program. President Obama expanded it. Now President Trump has expanded it even more. It has gotten so much worse. This is why you don't give this power to anybody in the first place. They should not have the power to kill anyone extrajudiciously. Uh, okay, you cannot do that. Because someone who's even worse, who says, hey, you know what? Let's take out people's families. They're going to eventually get that power. It's exactly what we had been warning about. And it came true. It came true. Just as we said it would. We've got to remove that power from this administration and prevent any other administration from using it. If we don't, it's just going to keep getting worse, and the terror will never end. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.